Hello, it's Paul from Paul Fruit to Eye Video. I thought I'd like to share with you a video about the sound equipment that I was using at a video shoot for an orchestra um, last Saturday. I try to do everything on a budget and buy the best that I can. Um, there's some really good stuff that comes out of China, um, is equally as good as some of the real top of the range stuff. Saturday I used a radio mic set which I was very pleased with once I've got it once I had it set up correctly in my camera and I also use a Chinese shotgun microphone that's mounted on a microphone stand just a standard microphone stand that a band would use um, that I plugged into the radio mic and then obviously put the other end of it into my camera but in the meantime I'll show you what I used right this is the KNF concept radio mic packs uh, a transmitter and a receiver I've spoken about these in a, another video um, these were very good I'm really surprised at how good they are um, I paid £80 for these um, what's that it's just about $100 really really good KNF concept M8 radio mic pack this one, this one has a cold shoe to go on top of your, or cold shoe adapter to go on top of your camera. This is the one where you plug the mic into. Like I say, if you want to know how to use these, check out my other video. Um, I'll put a link up somewhere, either on here or at the end. So I used the radio mics along with the Super Unidirectional Condenser Microphone. That's a generic name for a microphone if I ever, if I ever heard one. That's of Chinese origin. Comes in a nice case, which is uh, unusual. Uh, this was less than thirty pounds, which I suppose is about thirty-five dollars. Uh, no, about forty dollars, I suppose, something like that. Uh, it takes an AA battery that is simply Right, three position switch, we have the off position, the normal position, and the telephoto position. I say telephoto, tele position. That will um, just stretch out a little bit further to pick up the sound. I found that normal position is pretty much the one for most situations. It's stereo, and it's made of aluminium. Also included in the pack is this sponge microphone wind cover so just if you do use it as a, uh, a handheld mic it's an XLR plug into the end of the microphone and that goes to a 3.5 millimeter stereo plug which is what fits my camera all right let's just take this out of the box and move that Right, so this is how I set it up. Take, taking the 3.5 millimeter end, you plug that into the transmitter, it's marked mic, plug that in. At the camera end, you would connect the output to the mic input of the camera. That's very simple to do press and hold the button to turn on press and hold and press and hold the button to turn this one on I found that the best volume level to have for my camera which is the Sony HXR MC2500 was on the volume 1 setting I had to set my record level inside my camera to about six illuminated bars. If you use the Sony HXR MC2500 camera, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you go into the record level menu, there's a set of illuminated uh, bars, and I had six of them illuminated, and I found that gave me the best sound for that situation I was in, which was recording an orchestra. Um, if it was a little bit quieter, you may have to just step up your recording level in the Sony camera. 
or increase the volume on the receiver module. There's no volume on the transmitter module. Okay, so that's how, that was my setup. That's how I used it. I plugged the receiver into the camera. Um, they're both set to the same channel. Volume 1. The Sony camera was set to six highlighted bars of the record level. I'll um, play a clip of the sound that I got from this setup and uh, you can see what you think. <laughs> about the K and F Concept M8 mic pack which I bought with my own money I'm not sponsored for this video leave your questions in the comments box comment about anything else that you can think of ask about you can ask questions about the Sony HXR MC2500 camera and I'll hopefully be able to answer your questions that you may have um, please of course even more importantly now because of the changes with YouTube please subscribe to my channel like share and hit the bell icon if you want to receive regular updates from Paul Fultoy video but like I said please please subscribe it's very important to us small um, channels now to uh, to hit the criteria for monetization which I've just lost because um, I've not got enough subscribers um, I've maintained the watch time but the second part of the uh, requirement is subscribers and I need subscribers so please if you feel it in you even if you're not into video cameras please subscribe you don't have to watch my videos but it will really really help small channels like me to succeed on this ever competitive YouTube um, platform so until the next video I'll say thanks for watching and see you later <laughs>